Hi there, I'm Matthew Island, and as a Director of Studies at Sydney Sussex College, I've read a lot of personal statements, including a lot of really great ones that have made me really excited about the applicants who've written them. In this video, I'd like to share my top tips for writing your personal statement. Tip number one is that the personal statement matters. I spend a lot of time reading your personal statement um, and by the time the applications committee meets to discuss applicants, uh, I can usually quote sentences from your personal statement from memory. I've read it that many times. Um, so please don't let anyone tell you that the personal statement doesn't matter so much. Tip number two is to be genuine and be specific. Don't worry too much about the quality of writing in your personal statement. I'm reading it for the factual content, and I'm certainly not a literature critic myself. Um, so uh, I'm not going to be impressed by your use of fancy words, for example. I want to learn about you from your personal statement, so be true to yourself. Likewise, um, try to be specific about your achievements. Uh, for example, something I read a lot is uh, I participated in the UKMT Maths Challenges and I've got no idea what that means. So uh, I'd much rather you say uh, I participated in the UKMT Senior Maths Challenge and I gained a silver certificate. I understand that. Um, and uh, ideally, the only thing that I as the reader should be left wondering about is whether I agree with your opinions, um, not about the substance of your actual achievements. Tip number three is to get interested in things and do things. It's much easier to form opinions, make interesting connections, and generally write a good personal statement if you've built up some experience in practicing computer science. It's never too late to start, so write a program, build a piece of hardware using a Raspberry Pi, for example, um, attend a public lecture, read a book, uh, complete a MOOC, um, and then tell me about what you've got out of this experience in the personal statement. Tip number four is to prefer quality over quantity. Um, for most people, uh, a CV is a summary of their achievements and not an exhaustive list, and it's no different with a personal statement. If you give me a long list of achievements, it's uh, very difficult for me to judge the quality of what you've done. For example, if you list 10 books you've read, um, there's no way for me to know whether you've skimmed the chapter headings or whether you've genuinely engaged with the content of that book, and clearly I'd prefer the latter. Um, uh, likewise, if you list 10 programs you've written, um, I don't know if you've copied or pasted some code from the internet um, or whether you've really thought about um, some interesting algorithms when writing that program. Tip number five is to give your opinion. The personal statement is about you, so say what you've personally gained from the experiences that you've had. Also share any insight you've gained from doing the things that you've done. Um, there's no need to go overboard, of course, or make things up specifically for the personal statement. Um, but if you have thought of something really interesting as a result of some activity that you've carried out, um, then tell us about it. Um, we'll probably find it interesting too. Um, uh, don't worry too much about whether I'll agree with you or not, um, because I if I disagree with you, that'll give us something interesting to talk about in the interview. Tip number six is to have purpose and show that you can learn. We want people who have the potential to grow. Um, a good way to evidence this is to show how you've used past experience to shape future activities in your personal statement. Um, it's better to have direction and explore deeply um, a few areas than superficially scratch the surface of many areas. Um, you can always change direction later on, of course, um, but you never learn anything deeply um, unless you specialise. 